The battle's beginning. Which side are you on? Autobot or Decepticon? Merchandising, merchandising. Where the real money from the movie is made. Hey, boss! You're flying! This isn't flying. This is falling with style. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that make a fortune on merchandise. You are a famous race car? A real race car? Yeah, I'm a real race car. What do you think? Look at me. For this list, we're taking a look at movies and movie franchises that weren't just big hits at the box office, but also went on to produce profitable toys, clothing, and other goods. The new cars are here. Get ready to start your engines. Number 10. The Cars franchise. Seriously, your driving's incredible! Cars isn't most people's favorite Pixar movie, and Cars 2 really isn't anyone's favorite Pixar movie. I think you forgot the insulting part of that insult. Nevertheless, Cars is still among Pixar's most marketable franchises. That isn't too surprising given the marketing possibilities. Yeah, that, that is spectacular advice. Kids have adored toy cars, dating all the way back to Hot Wheels. With hundreds of new cars ready to roll out. Thus turning automobiles into sentient beings with likable appearances made for a winning toy line. Oh, right. That makes perfect sense. As if collecting every toy car wasn't enough, Disney's profits soared even higher when planes came in for a landing. I'm just trying to prove that maybe, just maybe, I can do more than what I was built for. With the opening of Cars Land at Disney California Adventure, this billion dollar franchise isn't slowing down anytime soon. A whole new land opens June 15th, Cars Land at Disney California Adventure Park. Number nine, the Despicable Me franchise. Wow, this is garbage. You actually like this? While Gru and his adoptive daughters are certainly marketable characters, it's those adorable yellow minions that really made this franchise a breakout success. Minions assemble! Just look at these little guys. You just want to give them a big fat hug as if they were plush dolls. He's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! Thus, it only makes sense that they would spawn countless toys, not to mention a ride at Universal Studios and their own spin off movie. Just one minion doll isn't gonna cut it though. You're gonna have to buy your five year old a whole army of minions until they're satisfied. I have been working on something very big. Something that will blow this pyramid thing out of the water. Number eight, the Transformers franchise. Let's roll. Transformers has always largely been about selling toys. Heck, the franchise started as a Hasbro toy line in the 80s. Transformers, more than meets the eye. The action figures went on to inspire an animated series, which would ironically inspire more action figures. Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. Then, when the live action film franchise hit the scene in the early 21st century, even more toys hit the shelves. Michael Bay's an expert when it comes to working commercials into his movies, so he was the perfect man to bring the Autobots to the big screen. From a marketing standpoint, at least. What? Say what you will about the movies, but Transformers merchandise remains awesome and will forever keep consumers coming back. Disguised as Earth vehicles, Optimus Prime and the heroic Autobots have the power to protect the world from the destruction of the Decepticons. Number seven, the Toy Story franchise. Toy Story must be every ad executive's dream come true. The main characters are already playthings. You are a toy! You weren't the real Buzz Lightyear, you're, a, uh, you're an action figure! You are a child's plaything! They practically sell themselves. Of course, Toy Story didn't become one of Disney's most profitable franchises based on its marketable premise alone. The filmmakers took these simple pieces of plastic and molded them into wonderful, timeless, and original characters we truly care about. Buzz! I had a feeling it was you, Buzz. That's the reason people keep coming back to Toy Story and why every generation of children desires a Woody and Buzz Lightyear of its own. You think you can take care of him for me? Okay, then. Plus, the series elevated Mr. Potato Head to another level of fame. Mrs. Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Number six, the Harry Potter franchise. Through 
through the Harry Potter books, J.K. Rowling created one of the greatest fictional worlds in all of literature. The feature film adaptations made Rowling's world come to life, as did the merchandise. It shows us nothing more or less than the deepest and most desperate desires of our hearts. If you're a true Harry Potter fan, then you've undoubtedly purchased a few wands and robes. The wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. And maybe even some Quidditch gear. Wow, look at it! The new Nimbus 2000! Then if you're a really hardcore fan, you likely blew your life savings on expensive prop replicas and collectibles. This lot won't come cheap, Mum. To get the full Hogwarts experience, though, you'll have to visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Then explore the classrooms and corridors of Hogwarts Castle. The trip is worth every galleon, sickle, and canute. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. Number 5. The Batman Franchise Where does he get those wonderful toys? Every little boy has dreamed of being Batman. Thus, all those Batman toys and accessories have made the folks at Warner Brothers richer than Bruce Wayne. It's the car, right? Chicks love the car. Granted, Batman hasn't always been easy to market to young kids. Batman Returns was so dark that McDonald's pulled out of their Happy Meal promotion. Um, penguin? I mean, killing sleeping sugar. Isn't that a little, uh... <laughs> As a result, the studio wanted Batman and Robin to be more toyetic. Maybe that's why Mr. Freeze looked and talked like an action figure. I'm afraid that my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. There are so many memorable incarnations of the Dark Knight, though, that the bat signal continues to lure us to his products. So what do you think? Does it come in black? Number 4. The Jurassic Park Franchise After Steven Spielberg cooked up the most realistic dinosaurs audiences had ever seen in Jurassic Park, no child's toy chest was complete without a velociraptor. Even if some of the sequels weren't so hot, Ah, oh, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and then screaming. Kids still ordered their parents to buy the merchandise. We can charge anything we want, 2,000 a day, 10,000 a day, and people will pay it. And then there's the merchandise. Why? Because dinosaurs might have gone extinct, but their appeal never will. Even decades after the initial blockbuster, Jurassic World had us lining up at the box office and the toy stores. We're gonna make a fortune with this place. Now if you'll excuse us, we're gonna go make our T-Rex and Indominus Rex action figures fight each other. Probably not a good idea. Number 3. The Frozen Franchise Open those gates so I may unlock your secrets and exploit your riches. For years, it seemed like the traditional Disney fairy tale was dead. <laughs> Frozen proved, however, that Disney's signature magic is alive and well in the hearts of children. Aside from becoming the highest grossing animated film of all time, Frozen just keeps raking in the big bucks with Olaf dolls. I heard carrots are good for your eyes, but I think they're much better for your nose. <laughs> Elsa and Anna dresses. How about boots? Winter boots and dresses? And of course, that infectious soundtrack. Let it go, let it go. I am one with the wind and sky. Some parents may now be sick of Frozen fever bleeding their wallets dry. But since your parents bought you all that Little Mermaid and Lion King merchandise when you were young, though... Well, forgive me for not leaping for joy. Chances are you'll have a hard time telling your child no, especially since a Frozen sequel was announced in March 2015. This is amazing! <laughs> Number 2. The Marvel Cinematic Universe Brody, I'm working on something big. Marvel has been part of our popular culture for years, inspiring plenty of merchandise. I hear you're, uh, kind of attached. It's handier than you might think. With the Marvel Cinematic Universe launching these superheroes into another league of popularity, though, we've gotten several waves of new action figures courtesy of Hasbro and designer Dave Bonner. Besides giving us detailed action figures and bobbleheads, Marvel merchandise has exploded in recent years with t-shirts, backpacks, and of course, costumes. Oh, you're keeping the outfit, right? You know what? It's kind of growing on me. The universe offers a wide variety of characters, making the marketing possibilities endless. So is this how you normally look? More or less. 
It's a good look. You're never too old to collect every piece of Marvel memorabilia, although you may not be rich enough. I know guys with none of that worth 10 of you. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. My old sword, Sting. Here, take it, take it. It's so light. Yes, yeah, made by the elves, you know. The ducks? Were the ducks? <laughs> Man, what Brendan jerk came up with that name? <laughs> A Jose can say go back. Tell me, you didn't pay money for this. Ooh, that's it. Look who's finally ready to play. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I remember how to do this. With the exception of Dr. Strom, our entire staff certifies the product ready for human testing. Number one, the Star Wars franchise. <laughs> Studios didn't have the best grasp on creative movie marketing in 1977, 20th Century Fox actually sold the merchandise rights for Star Wars to George Lucas. He's worth a lot to me. Big mistake on their behalf, since Star Wars now holds the Guinness World Record for most successful film merchandising franchise. Star Wars just keeps enduring, with action figures and plastic lightsabers remaining hot ticket items. What is it? Your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. Before The Phantom Menace even came out in 1999, it already made a killing in early toy sales. It's working! It's working! Oh, and you'd better believe we all added a BB-8 droid to our Christmas list in anticipation for The Force Awakens. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? You don't let me! What movie made you spend a fortune in merchandise? For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.